Hey, what's up, guys? One of you guys suggested that I do a uh, full CD collection. Thank you for your suggestions. As always, they really help uh, with like video ideas and for the channel and stuff. So thank you for that. So yeah, I'm gonna go through all of my other uh, CDs. I'm not gonna go through them like, um, like best to worst like I did the other ones. Um, I'm just gonna because I've got a lot, so I'm gonna get through them quickly. Show you what I've got. Um, and then yeah. So this should be fun. First of all, I'm going to show you um, a Madonna CD that I got. Um, it should be in my Madonna CD collection, but it only just came recently. Hard Candy. Um, it's very good. It's very sexual. Um, and I like it. It's um, It's got four minutes uh, with Justin Timberlake on, um, which is probably my favourite one, as well as Candy Shop and B Goes On featuring Kanye West. It's really good. I'm going to be going through my greatest hits um, slash anniversary CDs, like Thriller 25, so that's how I'm going to start. Thriller 25. I got this for my 10th birthday, and um, and it's really great. It's it's basically, it comes with this shiny covering, which I like, um, and it has normal songs, then it has remixes featuring uh, two with Will I Am, one with Akon, one with Fergie, one with Kanye West. I mentioned it in my Michael Jackson CD thing and it's really good. I love the remixes so much. Honestly they're great. Um and then you've got uh the short films as well. So down here you can't really see you've got Billy Jean B at Thriller and um, Motown twenty five where he first perform 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 performed the moonwalk um and it's great. Uh this is it which came out after he died along with the D V D and it comes with a really nice book of pictures from uh the This Is It rehearsals and stuff. It has all of the greatest hits, and then on disc two, some demos, um, and it does feature the song This Is It, which was released after he died, um, and it's really good, and it's really, it feels really good. It's like a book, like an actual book. It's great. Essential Michael Jackson. This was probably one of the first uh, greatest hits Michael Jackson that I got. The reason why I really like this one is just because they have gone all out. That is the amount of songs that's on there. There are so many songs, and it features uh, Jackson 5 and Jackson's era, which most greatest hits don't do. Number one's classic um, greatest hits by Michael Jackson, probably the most like popular one, because it just has the best ones on there. Um, I mean, obviously there are more better ones, but, you know, whatever. And they've, it, this one also features a One More Chance, which is um, when this album was released. It was a new song. Um, and I love One More Chance, it's beautiful, um, and yeah, I really like it, and again, the booklet as well, it's very simple, uh, the booklet in this one, but it's really kind of amazing too. Stevie Wonder, The Ultimate Collection, The Definitive Collection, excuse me, um, so this features two CDs of, um, Stevie Wonder hits, um, so many great hits on this one too, um, Definitely favourites the Superstition Saduke, Isn't She Lovely, I Just Called to Say I Love You. Um, I am literally just reading them because they're all great. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this album. And there it is. The booklet, I don't think I've actually gone through the booklet, but it's a big one. Because um, with Greatest Hits, they seem to do that more. So that's cool. The Whitney Houston Greatest Hits. This is a two-disc, uh, kind of laid out like the history um, CD I have. Um, and it's it's really nice how they sectioned it out. They've got the cool down, and then they've got the throw down. So the cool down being like the the ballads and the classics, and the throw down being like the really upbeat classic Whitney dance music. Um, the booklet as well for this one, if it ever releases, um, again it's really nice, and it's just it's it's a good it's a good book. Look how cool she is. Yes. Um, so yeah, so that's all the greatest hits I have. I'll start off with my pink CDs. I haven't got a full collection of pink CDs. A lot of them I have digitally. Digitally? Digitally. Uh, pink is, like, my one of my favourite uh, singers, definitely. Um, but I only have three of her CDs. Um, maybe I'll collect them once I'm done collecting Madonna's. I don't know. First one, Misunderstood. Um, this one is great. Um, this was her second album, I believe. And... Oh, it's broke. Um, and I think the one that really got her career started, um, my favourites, oh god, 18 Wheeler, Just Like a Pill, Don't Let Me Get Me, 
um, and get this party started, probably. Um, it's really great. I'll show you the inside, but it just fell apart when I did it, so here we go. Yep, see, it's gone. Uh, very pink. Very pink. Um, yeah, really great. Uh, pink, try this. I think Libby got this for me for uh, one of my birthdays. Um, oh, I didn't know it did that. Okay, well, it does that. Oh god, that's too much. Okay, so as you can see, it's a two disc. Disc two contains um, video DVD features like the Trouble Music videos, an interview, a photo gallery, and some lyrics. Um, I love this album so much. I feel like it's one of her most personal ones. I love all the um, like the photo shoot for it as well. Um, fucking sexy as hell, and the music's great. Trouble is definitely my favourite, like I can define Trouble as being one of my favourite Pink songs, um, and Save My Life, those two are definitely my favourites of this one. Um, you could say this is a Pink one, although it doesn't say Pink on it, it says Alicia Moore. You and Me, the new album that uh, came out under a month ago, I can't even remember when, um, and it's really nice, it's like a cardboard card feel to it, it's really nice. It reminds me of like records, and stuff, um, and it's really beautiful. It's very beautifully laid out. Um, and yeah, I love this one. Definitely my favourites are Capsized, Love Gone Wrong, and You and Me. They're probably like my favourites. So yeah, you. Oh, I'm featuring uh, Dallas Green. Cannot forget to mention Dallas Green. Uh, Share Heart of Stone. This um, is an original. Stole it from my stepdad. Trish. Um, and it's pretty cool. Um, this is a classic uh, just album in general, um, featuring If I Could Turn Back Time, just like Jesse James, Heart of Stone, Love on a Rooftop, and they're probably like my favourites, and they're like the most famous ones of this album. It's a classic. Dido Life for Ren. I love Dido so much. She was like my childhood growing up, um, with White Flag, which is on this album, as well as Life for Ren, Stoned, uh, Sand in My Shoes. They're my favourites of the album. I love this album so much. So much. It's very simple and cool. And I like it. Yes. No Angel with Thank You. One of my all-time favourite songs. Um, also, Here With Me, Hunter. And I think they're like my favourites. Um, and then I've just found out that this is... A... This is... <laughs> uh, music videos for Thank You and Here With Me. Yes. So I'll definitely check that out, because I didn't know it came with that. This is the first album I bought with my own money. Um, Lady Gaga, The Fame Monster. When she came on X Factor years ago and performed Bad Romance, I just fell in love with that song, and I needed it in my life. So I went out figuring that this was her new album. Hopefully it had Bad Romance. Turns out I had two discs on it. Um, the Fame Monster and The Fame. The Fame being her first album, Fame Monster being the second. Um... And it's really, really great. Um, I definitely prefer the Fame Monster bit, because like, you've got Bad Romance, Alejandro, uh, Speechless, Dance in the Dark, and Teeth. Next. <laughs> oh dear. Cheryl Cole, Messy Little Raindrops. I got this, I had a HMV voucher years and years and years ago. Um, and I really liked Promise This, so I thought, I'm just gonna get it and see what it's like. And it, it, it's actually okay. Like, the songs are pleasant and bearable. Which is what I look for in an album. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I think I just went through a Cheryl Cole fancying her stage and thought, I'm just going to buy her music and see if she loves me more. Um, didn't happen. I'm still waiting, though. Um, and I've got two more left. Um, this is Lennon Legend. The, uh, oh, this is another greatest hits. Oops, I missed it out. Uh, it's the very uh, best of John Lennon. Um, just a simple one disc with a good 20, good 20 songs on there. Um... Really, really good. Open there we go. Um, and yeah, I I was I was I was listening to this and I was like, I don't have any Beatles music. I really need to try and listen to some Beatles music. So everyone knows Beatles music, but I haven't like I have to get an album. I just don't know where they've been all my life. Uh, Avril Lavigne, let go. Um, just just what else do you say about this album? Um, classics like Skater Boy and Complicated are on here. Um. And it's just, just, it's just a great, fun album. Oh my god, all of, oh my god, this is really broke. Um, so there's the inside, <laughs> there's the disc. Oh, I like the disc. I haven't really seen the disc before, because I play it on my laptop, but 
Yes, I really like this album. It's, it's just a fun, it's just a fun album. There are all my CD collections, along with my Michael Jackson and Madonna CDs. If you want to go see those videos, I will leave links in the description for you to go check them out. Um, so yes, so that is my full CD collection. Uh, thank you again for the suggestion. Thanks for watching, goodbye.